Uh, this is a mole snake, one of our non-venomous snakes. Uh, mole snakes do have very sharp teeth. Some of those teeth are uh, edged at the back like a blade of a knife. And uh, if you get a good bite from a big mole snake, you could end up having stitches. So with these snakes, uh, we see male combat. It's quite common in a variety of our mambas and our adders. But in mole snakes, the males actually bite one another. And if you look uh, just behind the, the head, further down in the neck, you'll see some scars. So they leave these massive scars and sometimes they even expose some ribs. But it's not a fight till the death. They do heal uh, very easily. So these snakes vary in color, often uh, brownish like this one here. But in parts of their range, they are jet black or a very, very dark gray color. Mole snakes feed on rodents, especially mole rats. But they might also take birds, ground nesting birds and their eggs. And where you have these uh, uh, large populations of mole rats, you're going to find a lot of mole snakes. So here in Gauteng, where we are, we don't see a lot of these snakes. But if you go down to the Western Cape and parts of the, the Eastern Cape, uh, you can encounter large numbers of these snakes. Uh, they are live bearers, average probably about 20 to 50 young, but they can produce up to about 95 young. And the young are multicolored. They are highly patterned, and as they mature, they start losing those patterns. So once they get to an adult size like this, uh, it's unusual for you to see, uh, to see any pattern in them.